guard. I realised I didn't finish off the boarding up, but we're going to stay. We're going to try and... Oh my god. Talking about bad luck. Hello everybody, and welcome back to This War of Mine. We are still working our way through our gameplay where we are trying to do a high score run with absolutely every character. Last time we did Marin, who unfortunately I feel was hampered a bit by the timing and the the timing of the winter and the timing of the outbreak of crime, which left not much time for him to really gather resources at the end without the risk of it being stolen. Up next, however, we have got Marco. Now, Marco is an interesting one who could really, really do some interesting things, if I'm totally honest. I mean... He has got the ability as a, as a skill scavenger to kind of get through things out and about a lot better. However, the main thing that I am interested in with his abilities is he has the ability to carry a lot more than most characters, apart from Boris. But the fact is, is that Boris is hampered in other ways by a variety of issues in terms of speed and all those sorts of things. So when it comes down to it, it may be actually that Marco can get away with a lot more than Boris ever did. Because that's the thing that worries me, is that, with Boris actually, was that he was so slow, he kept on getting caught out, and I think that actually did do it for him in the end. Because I remember we were doing really quite well, and then he got, I think he got killed, which was actually a really, really bad ending for him, considering he could have easily got the high score otherwise. I think he still did. By one point, he beat out uh, the person who was currently top, which I think was Bruno. I think Boris and Bruno are currently our top two. I may be wrong there. I've not looked at the leaderboards uh, that much in detail. I should probably. I'm looking forward to looking at it right at the end. Because we're over halfway through now. I think Catcher was actually halfway through, so Marin was the first one of the second half, and then we got um, these guys. Um, I'm just... I, I, I'm hoping a lot of you guys have seen these videos before, but if not, I should probably give a brief overview of what's happening. Uh, this war of mine, you are tasked with surviving through a war zone on your own, uh, how the civilians would act and how they would survive. So normally you get a group of people, I'm playing this with one person, I'm not allowed to take in anybody and therefore I'm also not allowed to leave for anything during the day. I can go out at night to scavenge but I do leave this place completely undefended at, that, at night. Um, so that can be a big, big problem about this whole run. Um, I'm going to have to break through here. Hopefully, um, what's it called? Oh, goodness sake. No, you have to go over the top. I don't have a shovel, which is annoying, because the shovel is the one that gets you most of these things. But I'm going to have to go over the top of it all. I'm about to sneeze. Apologies for that. I just really, really noticed I needed to sneeze, and so I was like, I'm going to announce it so I can actually do it, as opposed to trying to keep talking and getting caught out in the middle of a sentence. But no. This is the first one that I'm actually going to try and record fully in the the mindset that I'm going to be... Um, what's the word? In the mindset that I'm going to be recording all the way up to episode... to day 15. Because normally I'd split it into days of like three, but I'm now changing that up. And my new method for recording all of this is going to be to go for the 15 days, 15 days, and just give you two videos that are longer. A lot of you guys are going to watch it. You can watch it at your own pace. You don't have to watch it all at once, because you can just turn it. You can go away, come back, do whatever you want. It's, it's just there. And it also means that I'm doing less editing, less kind of talking, cutting. And I also remember a bit better where I am, which is which was a big problem. Uh, Marco is slightly sick. I think I'm going to be very... Um, what's the word? I'm not going to give him the medicine just yet. If I can find... I may head for one of the locked cabinets. Maybe down the basement. Because if I can get myself a hatchet very early by going to the garage, then that could be a really big opening for me. That's the kind of... Should be my tactic for all of these runs, is to get a hatchet early, get all the wood, use the wood to build, board up the house. Once the house is boarded up, maybe I can defend it. Because that's the thing, is I'm reaching a point again where I'm getting towards some characters who are able to defend themselves. So I went through the middle and I had to adjust my strategy somewhat, because a lot of them had to leave. Because if they were here when anyone came, they'd kind of get attacked and they'd die. 
Whereas with uh, Marco, he may actually be able to survive himself. To answer some other questions, uh, by the way, as a lot of, which a lot of people ask, oh, that's good to know there's one down there. Um, why do I not um, leave stuff in some of these piles is because A, it's useful to have all of the stuff. I mean, I know I could just leave medicine in there in case of emergency, and I think I've done that once or twice throughout the runs. But I get that I've just realised I get much better kind of feeling of it if I'm if I've got everything out. And also I most like it's very, very rare that having something left in here is gonna be useful for me. Like, I, most of the time I try to avoid using meds, and if I find food I also kind of feel like I should be using that, maybe on the, on the stove or whatever, but I still feel like it should be used. Maybe if I go and try and get... that's amazing. Okay, I'm going to take some of that to the, to the garage tonight, just to get a hatchet as soon as possible, or at least some other nice bits and pieces. Um, I'm going to see if I can make... do I have enough... I have some bits and pieces, so I could maybe make a cooker on a bed. Because then if I can get those up and running nice and quickly. Uh, a cooker, which is five, and a bed is... Oh, I need all eight for a bed. Uh, an oven. But to be honest, it's one or the other of them, regardless. I need, just need to remember to get five wood tomorrow. Um, I think it's worth me getting the stove up and running. Just because, like, I can survive without a bed. I can sleep on the floor. I can't eat lots of raw food. It's much better to have the food. Cooking mechanism than it is to just avoid it, most of all. So, yeah. Good. Once that's cooked, once that's built, I will try and start to break through somewhere else. But I've got what I need for today to get a good start. Mainly, the other thing I do like to leave about is actually the fuel. Because in the winter, having just piles of fuel around the house is... A big, big bonus. Good, so we've got that. The main target will be to try and get myself a bit more components and a bit more wood tonight. Thankfully, because Marco's a skill scavenger, this should be a relatively nice run in comparison to some of the other runs I've done. I like the ability to actually get the stuff I want and to move on with that sort of stuff. Would be an interesting run to do where I'm not allowed to like open anything else. I have to scavenge everything. Everything here is like toxic. That would, be a, that would be a really interesting run, actually. Not be able to open anything at this location. Okay, and we've also got to think about this cold. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's grab all that. I've got a lot of nice things around and about here. I may be able to build quite early on a few of the things I need. Damn, that's nice. Like, that and that are good. I, I may just try and get as much components as I can tonight, because it is going to end now. It's 8pm. Night starts at 8pm. Regardless, the garage is open day one. Let us scavenge. Let us take with us this and this. Um, I don't think I need anything else here. No, that should be fine. Look at how much space we've got. Last time I was competing up to this point, I've got an extra five spots. So Marco is just really good at this. Um, so let's go. Main thing I need is a hatchet. If it's not there today, I'll have to go back tomorrow, probably saving one of these things. But let us see what he has first and foremost, because if I can get more parts as well, that would be a really good point. Cool, um, you do have the hatchet, so I can do that. Um, and then I also really want your parts. I can do that, there you go. Give me this, give me this. Um, and then I should probably grab that. And then can I put some water on top of this? and get three water on top, that's nice. Everyone loves a little bit of water. Deal, look at my backpack, still got plenty of space, and that saw blade. The reason I got that saw blade, if you don't know this location particularly well, is there is a place on the top that you can just kind of saw through and do what, your own, do what you want with that. Good, I'll grab some of this wood. Um, I will check up here, even though every single time I go up here and run across here, it's always got nothing in it, which annoys me greatly. Although, actually I swear I sometimes I have found stuff in here. Like this! What's what's going on? So there's uh, plenty of there's plenty of wood there. Now let us run across here and go down, and let us go up the top here because I've got a um, saw blade that I can cut through here, and then I might as well look around the back because I also think there are some nice me um, electrical parts and some what's the word mechanical parts, just parts. 
They call them electrical parts and parts. I feel like mechanical parts would have been a better name for them, or at least something to differentiate the two. Um, I'm gonna just actually, I should probably have a look at these. Because maybe it's worth grabbing one more. And there could be some something worthwhile here. Uh, if I grab another component, so I think I'm low on components comparison to wood at the moment. And I also have a lot of wood tomorrow with the hatchet. Um, so I may actually do a trade off there. Get rid of a couple of those, because then I've got eight wood coming back, which is enough to build myself the bed that I want. And then I'm going to try my hardest to kind of grab everything else. There's just a lot of materials here to come back and get. Maybe another trip here at some point soon would be good. I don't know if um, if Marin gets uh, Marin Marco gets any benefits to what he actually finds, because that could be an interesting addition. Uh, if I have a look in here, anything in here? Nope, nothing of worth for me. And anything in here? I just kind of want to get an extra part. I think there may be some in the garage. It's just uh, filling up stacks is always an important part of this, especially in the early days. Because the fact is, Marco is going to have um, some. He's gonna. He's got to have enough materials to build things, which is the beauty of it. I think the strongest. There we go. The strongest pairing in this is would probably be Marco and Mary. I think that as much as people want, want to put Roman in there, if I had to do, choose two people, it would be these two, because it would give me the ability to collect a lot of stuff and the ability to build a lot of stuff very quickly. We are back from day one, and we are doing very very good. Let us see how it goes. It is on to day two, which is very, very good. I feel like we're already doing a solid start. I can probably get away with another day worth of of just building and then going out again. I don't think I'm going to be in a situation where I need to stick around until day night three. That's my plan, at least. Uh, let's quickly upgrade this. I should have enough. Yep. And I've got the main thing to think about is the fact that I can smash everything up for wood. And I've even got some places to still search. I think there's up the top here, yep, and at the top loft here. And I'm already doing it nicely. The main thing is, is today actually I need to make sure I have a bed up and running soon. And I need to make sure I use my parts quickly before things are going to be a problematic. Um, what's the word? Things could get difficult if I'm leaving a lot of parts and whatnot around. So let us see how it all goes. Good, very good, very good. So now if I was to look in here, we will see we can do boarding ups, but we need a lot of wood for that. So let us go and run for that. I don't know what else, I, like I want to make sure the parts are being used conducively. Maybe I'll see if once I've smashed up all this stuff, what I can do. Because also if the guy comes, I may be able to trade him some books for some wood. And then we're just doing some like really nice shenanigans. Should probably put the cook if I can and make myself a uh, some water collectors because I forget that water is such a valuable commodity in this because they are one point a piece which is probably why a few of the others have been given um, some really high points that's good oh that is interesting you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one I'm gonna s no I'm not I'm worried about smashing that one up because if I smash it up I may lose what's in there just because the fact is, is that much sugar, that's enough for three alcohol, and also when I make a herbal workshop, those things could all be turned into cigarettes or into medicines, which is really, really good. Um, but let's have a look what else there is. Come on, Marco, I want you to run. Run to everywhere. Nice, some more wood. Let's see what's in this cupboard. Maybe be actually something worthwhile. Very nice. Let us smash open this. I'll pick up the wood, but I will leave the fuel. And then, here we go. So let's grab all of that. See, like, nine wood out of just one thing there, which is really good. The main thing will be to kind of push as much as I can out of here. As in, well, I, I, sometimes I, I think and then my voice is not catching up with myself. So when I say think about that, I'm going to... Um, Build, start building all three of them today because I don't want to risk losing the wood but they can just leave them kind of built an interesting one I've heard of is you can actually um, set off something to build and then cancel it the next day so the, the, the materials are safe which is the main important thing of this one which is good nice 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 get through here and just see what's at the back here be interesting. I feel like there should be a medicine cabinet in here or something, as it's right at the back as well. 
uh, grab all that. Yeah. Good, that was another load of wood. I'm actually almost at 30, which is the amount you need to um, board up everywhere. Oh, and that's also a good start in terms of score for Marco, who is able to dig up everything that he needs to dig up, which is good. Uh, I'll take the wood. There we are, we're at enough, but I might as well smash these up because additional wood is additionally good. No trader today looks like, so maybe a trader can come tomorrow, which is absolutely fine by me. I do think that I will go to one of the shelled cottages or one of those tonight, and then tomorrow I'm going to start guarding because I feel like I need to do that tactic with um, Marco. It's a much stronger tactic overall. I do think that that's the thing is I played with like Savetta and Anton and um, Katya as well, really. Quite a few people. Quite a few characters where I'm like, I didn't want to risk losing them if they even stayed at a guard. Last one with Marin, I did, and he was able to fend them off most of the time, even with the... Uh, even... Actually, I don't think I left him during the outbreak of crime. I think I specifically avoided doing that, but everything else was relatively straightforward. That's good. Plenty of wood. I've got 51 wood, and I, so I should be able to at least set off those three um, building situations. And then we can be pretty well guarded from day one. I don't think I'm going to get through them all today, which is, the, which is a problem, but we are going to just set them all off. One, two, and three. Very nice. So there we go. So you can start on that one, and I'll probably end the day at that point. Um, you are tired, which means I actually should have built myself a bed. Uh, we can build a bed tomorrow and sleep after the trader comes. That's pretty much my job tomorrow, so get you back up to sleepy times and happiness and all that sort of stuff. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to let you sleep through the night one night, because then once I've got an electronic door, it's the same as if I didn't. But you do need a gun also to pretend just to protect the house, so that is an important thing to remember. I may go and build the bed now, actually. Um, I'm not sure I actually have enough to build a bed. Let's have a look. At least the front's boarded up. Let's go and see what I can do. If not, I need to just make sure I get enough components to build a bed. Let's have a look. Uh, can I make a bed? I cannot. I need three more components. That's annoying. Uh, let's send you off to the back here, and then we can do the top one last, probably tomorrow at this rate. But honestly, on day two, getting a score up to this point would be really, really good. It'd be nice if I could have like a score tracker somewhere, but I'd have to use something like um, Streamlabs or whatever. And I'm getting much better into using Fraps because Fraps is just nice because it means that everything that's on the screen, like it, it's just the game, and I don't worry about like tabbing out and things like that. It just still stays on, which is the thing I can't say for other software because it just kind of then shows what's ever on my screen, which it has pluses and minuses. I use both at times, but cool. That's it, and I'm going to end the day there. And we are going to go over to, we could go to the supermarket, we could go to the military outpost. All of these things are really nice. But first, we're going to go to the shelled cottage, I think. And we're going to take with us this, we're going to take this. It's going to give us uh, the ability to get through the main stuff there. We want to get components. We've got enough wood, we just need the components. Maybe some electric parts if we can find them, which is always a big boost. That is good. And let's go and grab. Very, very nice. I will, I will grab the wood initially and then I can trade the wood out for other things if I need to. That's the sort of thing you want to find though. I'll take one more wood, there we go. Although once I come in here, this is the thing, I always find it a bit of an interesting one. Oh, by the time I get in here I'm like already doing a well. I'll take that and I'll take that and I'll take that. Um, in Ennis, and honestly, I'm, my inventory is now pretty much full already. I should have just not brought the first two things this time. Um, there's plenty of more stuff to grab here. Is there a, you know, if that is a guy who's... Hmm, if I drop that, I'll take that. That's always worth having. I'm going to use the stuff I brought with me to break into everywhere I need to break into. Because then, when I come back here, I can just come with, with an empty inventory and grab all the stuff. So we're getting through that. I'm hoping that this guy at the back here has a gun. Let us see. 
he does not, but he has got some parts on him. I'm going to drop the wood for the part, for the electric parts mostly, and I'm going to drop one of those for the mechanical parts. And I know that that's coming back here now. So now it's just a question of trying to run through all of this and get the extra bits and pieces. Which is a uh, nice th thing that a lot of people say I should be bringing everything back to the start of the min of the mission every single time. Kind of just bring it so that the next time I come in I can just run in and grab it. But I just think that that's not really entertaining for you guys to kind of watch me do that. It's just a bit dull, really. I feel like there are lots of other more interesting things that you guys would rather watch than me running back and forth putting all of these piles in the farm by the front door. Um, good to know where all this stuff is. I'm not going to take any of that. Good to know there's some ammo down there, though. And also more meds. You're slightly sick. Um, we're doing alright. Just, just in general, we've got a lot of good stuff. I may even be reaching a point where I can... Um, let's smash open this. If I can build the electronic door, I will be a really strong position, just because that means that he is able to sleep very, very freely and do whatever he wants. Sorry about that, I just cut out for a second. Uh, I think I am back. Yes, I will try to remember to take that out of the recording, but um, maybe, maybe not. I've got him, I've got no, I can take that. Night two. Cut out. That was a worry for a moment there. Good. Um, bum, 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 bum. There's some decent stuff here, and if I remember correctly, is there a diamond back here? Just debating whether or not it's worth putting a diamond in my inventory. Oh no, there isn't. Uh, I'll put that in there, and I'll take that as well. Eh, nice. Um, I think most of the stuff here is worth coming back for, but most of it now that it's open up means that I can come back a lot easier. Oh, wait a second, or is there a... Is it the shelled cottage where sometimes if you read something here... Is that it? Is this, am I thinking right? Oh no, it was just a... That's just a fly. I think there's another location, maybe the abandoned cottage rather than the shelled cottage. That um, if you read something, you'll find that they actually buried a gun somewhere and you can then go get the gun, which is a really important little addition you can get early on. It's broken, but it still gives you a real big kind of boost. Day three. Lovely, lovely. Hopefully we didn't get raided. I didn't think we would do. You are very tired. Let us make myself a bed. And not in the kind of just tidying it up sort of way. But look at my things. Look at that. Look at that lovely selection there. I know that I should probably be... Um, I should be focusing on other things. But um, yeah. Here we go. Let's put a bed down. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's switch things up. I'm going to put the bed down here. Because normally I put the bed up here, but it's a it's an interesting other plan to put it down the bottom here. I've got enough water definitely to cook myself some food. Uh, I just need to pick up some fuel, which I don't really have much, but there's plenty all over the place. If I pick up enough fuel, if I upgrade this, then make enough fuel to make four loads of meal, I can eat myself up to well fed, and then I can kind of just relax. It's one of these things that the sleeping is going to... I've got so much stuff, thanks to Marco, that I'm now annoyed that I have to sleep but it is better to be this way than the other way, where I kind of have nothing to do in the days, because more stuff to do in the days means more score, which means Marco will be higher up the leaderboard. Question is when he beat the two at the top, but I do not know. That is good. We're going to grab some fuel, upgrade that if we can. I know you're tired. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Let's grab all four of that. I may need all four of that. We're going to upgrade this first, though, before we use it, because otherwise we're wasting stuff. And um, then we will see how it goes. Do we have the guy coming? We do. Let's see how much we need to upgrade this. I should have plenty, just because of the amount of stuff in my inventory. I don't. I need more components. I can trade for components, though, because the guy is here. We'll trade for some components, get the stuff, and then I'm hoping to be able to sleep today, but it's probably more important that I can get everything up and running. Which is nice. Let's make a deal. Perfect. Go. Um, very, very nice. You do have loads of components for me. If I give you this, you can give me an entire thing of this. And um, in return, I also would like... I'll give you some of that and some of this. Okay, I can get one more water. That's good. You may be wondering why I'm focusing so much on these parts. Parts are actually something that I always run out of. 
and I'm surprised I've got such an abundance of them this early in the game. So I'm going to deal on that and I'm going to run up here. I don't think I've got enough components to upgrade this tonight, which is a worry. Well, not a worry, but annoyance. Doesn't mean I kind of want to defend tonight, so I'll have to make sure I finish building that over there. Um, oh, no, I don't want to do... I don't want to actually use it. Who wants to use it? I'm going to use five of it to break this, to upgrade this. So then I can up get enough stuff there to feed myself, and then I need to sleep. I really should probably prioritise the sleep, because then I can defend easier, and to... Because I'm going to have to guard through the night. So, yeah. Um... I mean, you know, if I look at my things, I've still got the diamond that I could trade, and the diamond is only useful for trading. Or if you want to escape through the port, which is something I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and do a speedrun of that at some point. So if I do that now, there we go. So that's using up a lot of stuff there. Maybe I could give him some food for some of his materials, but um, oh well. I've got other important things to be doing, I'm afraid, Franco. As much as I do ben enjoy the fact that you're here. Given that I'm defending and I've got the hatchet, I should be able to trade away. Um, I should be able to go for some of his extra stuff. I kind of want to eat twice and then go sleep, because if I can get at least up to just tired, then I can just sleep through tomorrow as well. Eat. Eat. It'll put me up to well-fed, which is always a big boost. Actually, let's quickly have a look at what I can build. Um, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I can build the herbal workshop, which is good. I can build uh, one of these, of course I can. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I was about to say, what else would I want? I'd want a heater eventually. But a herbal workshop is strong, as is a moonshine still. Both of those are strong, but I think I'm going to go to sleep. Um, I'll trade for them with components, and then I can do all the component stuff tomorrow. Getting more components and wood is always a good thing. So if I trade with you... And if I grab as much of that as I can, and much of that as I can, and then give you the diamond, it won't do try harder. How about a couple of bucks? And uh, what else can I give you? Uh, some of this. One of these? Fine, we can have a deal. How close are you? How much is that? If I take away one of these, you're still finding out a deal. There we go. Okay, so it's a bit... I've lost a lockpick, which is worth some score. But I feel like everything else was there I could actually do some stuff with. Apart from the books, actually, but... Um, you know what? There we go. Deal on that. Thank you very much. You can go, Hal. And then I'm going to go to bed. And hopefully get myself back to just tired. Because that gives me the opportunity to um, be better tonight. Done. Good, we're back to tired. Guard. I've realised I didn't finish off the boarding up, but we're going to stay. We're going to try and... Oh my god. Talking about bad luck. Um, Marco was wounded, and he is very tired, and we're going to have people come every night. Yippee. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Oh, yippee. Um, they took all of our food. Thankfully, they didn't take anything else. I could really do with a gun, but I can't get a gun unless I go out. In terms of my things, um, is there any way I can get this down on the table? Because if I can get it down on the table, I could get to the military outpost and try and get a gun from there. There's a lot of stuff that I could get down on the table, including a lot of the parts. I could build myself one of those traps. Use the one piece of food I have left, put the food, that piece of food into the trap. That's a good boost. Um... I could then, um, a lot of the fuel is on the floor, which is fine. Now that that's all barricaded up, we are pretty barricaded up there. Anything else I can get down on the table? I suppose using chairs, I can get a lot of the wooden components down on the table, which is something I should be doing more regularly. Um, I could get, uh, I feel like that is the smartest way. Let's have a quick think. So that's six. I can get one of these down. A herbal workshop or a moonshine still. A herbal workshop may mean I can make myself... No, I need alcohol for that, like proper alcohol. Uh, if I can make... So that's 5, 10 and 16. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make myself the herbal workshop, which is very nice. I can go next to these guys. 
herbal workshop, and then I can make myself the, if I look at my things, got, um, should have done the moonshine still because I have plenty of, actually you know what, I'm going to do that, that's smarter. If I'm, if I'm really being smart here, moonshine still. Moonshine still over here, just because then I can run up here, grab the, um, grab some fuel, grab some sugar, put the sugar onto this, and then all the sugar and water is all down on the table. Then I can go to sleep um, and try my hardest to get other things down on the table another time. Honestly, I because of um, Marco's... Ah, damn, 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 damn. I'm pressing the wrong things too much. That was my own fault. And uh, I can't help you, I'm afraid. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. He's going to be banging for the whole day, but I just have to leave it. Come on. Yeah, this is the one downside to this, is you can't get a lot of the benefits from the guys who will come to your door, which is a huge, huge bonus most of the time in these runs. It will just normally save you so much time and effort. Um, with that being built, I can then run upstairs and do what I need to do. Just check. I don't have any sugar on me. No, perfect. He's very tired. He's going to have to sleep once. He's going to be very tired tomorrow as well. This is the thing. I'm currently fighting with very tired. You'd leave at this point. You'd think no one was in. Although you probably know I'm in. But that's still no, by the by. So you may be wondering why, if I'm about to lose stuff, am I going here to kind of do this? But that's because... If I just get 12 of that, I can then put the water down on the table and not lose that water. I can turn that water into score. That otherwise it would probably be going. And I'll take all of the fuel. And then we're going to go here. Then I'm going to need to sleep. Maybe I'll be able to just put some stuff down. But because we're in an outbreak of crime, my only bet is to go out and try and do some stuff. Thankfully Marco can carry most of the stuff he needs to carry. But that's it. Okay, good. So if we go into here, very nice. See, I can make three of those, and that puts all but one of my water down on the table. Let us finish this off very nicely. If I look at my things already, it's disappeared. Then I'm going to put down the, the trap. Good. I'm just going to place it down. This can't really do much else besides that uh, trap. That, that, look, that removes a lot more of my stuff. So I'm going to put the trap next to the bed so I can do that all at once. But I'm going to leave that now. If I go into here, what can I do? Um, I've not got much of anything, really. I've not got any components left. I've got some electronic components, but I don't really need that. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was going to I was gonna try and do that as well. Uh because the thing is, if I end up being exhausted tomorrow, I can just, I'm going to have to just sleep. But my th plan is, is if I can save another piece of fuel. Here we go. Uh, nice. No, I know, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Just go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Uh, go for it. Just I don't want to lose that food either, because that food could be used to turn into two food down here, which is double, which gives me, in the long run, that extra food. Having so much food stolen in day two, day three was actually just kind of a bad situation for me. Come on, come on, come on. Marco's doing alright. Marco's doing alright. He may just end up being exhausted tomorrow, but that means he's just going to sleep. That's all he can do tomorrow, sleep and get back to where he needs to be. To be honest, if he's able to carry everything, then at least he can carry everything. But I don't think I've got enough time for him to get to enough rest. No, I don't. That's a shame. That is a shame. But we're going to go to the military outpost and we're going to do our steely steel. Um, let's see how much I can carry that's worthwhile. Obviously I need to take all of this, and I need to take this, and I need to take this. There's no point not taking that. Um, in terms of everything else, I may take that as I can trade it. But if they come in and nick all of this stuff, I am fine. I've got six spots to fill with other bits and pieces, but I have got stuff that's actually useful for me. Let us go and scavenge. I've got the lockpicks as well. Lockpicks are important here. Because I'm able to actually use them. Hello. If I was to trade with you, what would you actually accept, if anything? Uh, -bum -bum -bum. You would take this, and probably in exchange I could grab some water. Wow, that's nice enough. Mouth of water. 
doing if I took this though you probably would be like give me some more stuff yeah it's, it's quite a while off nah unfortunately I'm not interested I'll come back for more stuff next time but I can do the stuff now which is interesting you going away what are you going away for that is so rude here we go we're just going to quickly pick the lock one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm keeping my distance, but you let me finish up lock picking, which is interesting. There still may be an opportunity here to get them out. To get away with this stuff. There's some there's some components here that I could probably grab. To be honest, in the worst case scenario, maybe it's worth me getting the gun anyway. I don't know, maybe this guy will disappear again. I'm going to give it a little bit because there's no point not. Oh, there's one of those there. Might as well take that. I feel like there'll be more stuff back there, around there, though. Let us see if we can do a trade again. Oh, no, it, just, it, does, it messes up a bit. Yeah, no, he doesn't like it for some reason. I found that after you get caught, he then gets very pernickety about, um, like trading with you. I really wish I could just get you just disappear again. Otherwise I've wasted today somewhat. But he kind of gets glitched and I can't trade with him either. Okay. Let's grab the stuff that's here anyway. There's no point not. And that is unlocked now so that gives me a benefit. Okay you're just going to leave on your own volition. I like this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quickly, 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 quickly. Nice. And we have the gun. That's what we needed. And I'll take the bandages. Instead, we're going to drop that. We're going to take the food. There we go. We actually got away with it as well. We actually got away with that one. Oh, that's nice. That was nice. Well done, Marco. That's why you need a good scavenger. Save me a bit of time on the other bits and pieces. Is there a piece of wood here? Might as well see if there is a piece of wood. But now that I've got the assault rifle, I am in a solid, solid position. Well then, Marco. We've probably lost absolutely everything that we had, but we're going to head home. I'll probably go back to the shelled cottage tomorrow or whatnot. Having put everything down, I'm feeling good, although I feel like I can't do much today. We're in the middle of an outbreak of crime. I've probably lost everything that was still in the house, which means I can pretty much just carry what I've carried. There we go. Um, he's exhausted. They stole literally everything we owned and it is time for bed he is hungry he is sick and he's exhausted so if i actually um about to say i think we're fine i'm just gonna let him sleep i think that's what he needs today i mean maybe by the time the day ends he'll actually be fine or at least he'll get back to just regular tired I want to just leave him in there while we wait for the um, guy to come. If the guy, if the trader's going to come today, I could maybe do some nice things. Because, like, look here, I've got some... I've still got a lot of, meta, like, electronic parts that I can do stuff with. And that is a big boost at this stage. But I think the main thing for me right now is if I'm able to... Because if I'm able to get through this period with the... Um, what's it called? with the outbreak of crime then Marco is suddenly in a really strong position at the end of the game because during the winter no one's going to come steal so if I can keep him warm he can go out like two nights on the trot after a raid and then sit wait for a raid two nights after the raid go out get stuff come back he could be in a really really strong position that looks like it's Feta or no Arika maybe I can never tell between them but that's definitely someone who can come in and stay uh, in terms of everything else then, we know that everything else can fit in our inventory. Um, there's nothing that we can really get onto the board. Uh, I could maybe, I think maybe going to the supermarket to try and get another gun could be good. Um, the wood I could leave behind and get one more thing maybe. Um, or I could maybe even take the tablets. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait a little bit. We're going to just wait a little bit. Maybe I can... Um, I will zoom forward through this because this just seems a bit bit dull.
otherwise. But yes, I will see you on the other side once we have got back from exhausted to being a bit more comfortable, let's say. And we return. Marco has gone from exhausted to simply tired in a day. So we are now going to take some of this and then tomorrow he'll go from very tired, which he'll get to because he stays up overnight, to just normal again. I think I've got one more day where we can um, kind of before we have to eat. But I am going to use the meds here as a way of trying to kind of keep it under wraps his sickness. And it also takes something off the table. In terms of everything else, I'm just trying to work out, like there's nothing really else I can take off the table. I'll leave that behind. Everything else needs to come with me. And I'll probably, I could go somewhere new, I guess is the main idea. Um, but yeah, that's, that was good. I unfortunately had to say goodbye to whoever that was there, but yeah, let us keep going, let's end the day. Let's have a look about where is the best place to go. The supermarket could give me another gun. And another gun is really useful because I could trade it for a lot of stuff. The looted gas station is also pretty strong. There was a lot of stuff at the garage still. And I could trade some of them, the bandages for more useful parts. Oh, a trade could be smart tonight. Um, I think I may trade. Just because I can then get rid of some space there for some useful stuff. So if I spam all this stuff in, I've got one spot left. I'm going to leave that behind, so if someone comes and steals from me, they get a piece of wood. If I was to trade those two away, I could get some bats, some saw blades, which are useful for other locations. And I could then also get myself... Mm, unless I just go for, go for this outlook and then take out the guy at the... At the... Oh, if I take out the guy at the supermarket, that opens up the supermarket for me to loot later on. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually, supermarket. Maybe shouting at me, maybe thinking I made the wrong choice here. Um, I'm just going to spam it all in and then drop the wood back because no one needs the wood. We're going to scavenge, we're going to take out the guy, and we're going to use the ability that I have to take him out from a back hit with the hatchet. And if, in a worst-case scenario, he survives that, I have got the assault rifle. The assault rifle will be a very, very good additional thing. Here we go. We're very, very slightly sick. There we go. There we are. Nice. That's why I love having the gun. It's just the gun just takes the nervousness out of it. Because you just do most of the damage in one hit and then just finish him off. And that gives me the ability to have that. A lot of this and... Weirdly, I kind of want that. I do want that. Um, do I think that you're going to be better just leaving that here? Maybe. If I search in one of these, I can drop off the... Um, I can drop off some components. Um, I was going to drop off the... I was going to drop off the booze, wasn't I, there, and just take the components with me. Although, what can I do with four components at the moment? I think it's worth just having the useful stuff on me. Because then whenever I'm finished, I can then... Because after the outbreak of crime, you normally get a couple of days of calm. Not that I can ever predict it, so normally the first night's me is wasted. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. I've had a productive day, and we're just now going to relax and chill. Having a second gun means if the guy comes to trade with me, I can at least give him the gun. And then get a lot of materials that way. But we're just mostly going to relax. Still in the outbreak of crime, so we're probably going to have another couple of days of this. Which is a shame, we came in and stole our piece of wood. You're very tired, slightly sick now. Being slightly sick is better than being very sick. You're just hungry, so that's good. Um, is it worth eating just these cans? Or do I eat this and then try to cook more of it? 
Hmm, interesting ideas, interesting ideas. Um, I've got a lot of stuff on me, which is a good stuff. Um, I need to kind of keep an eye on how much it takes to upgrade some stuff. Because having those 12 mm, parts is big for me, I think. Let us eat two of these to get myself back up to well fed. I'm doing this just because it helps me with morale. And if I can't go out and help a lot of other people, then that is something I need to actually think about. So I need actually more parts, but that's not the end of the world. I can go get those from the garage, maybe. Uh, more parts here as well, but I've got enough for that as well. So I'm doing all right. I think it is time just to sleep though. If the guy comes, I'll trade and get some of the stuff that I need. But it is just a bit of a worry that I can't really do too much of trading because I'm just, I mean, he is here. Um, unless he's got literally all the parts I need to upgrade something, then I just should get exactly the amount I need and then move on. Let us see what I need because I think upgrading the workbench is the best idea because it just gets us there. So I need 30, 15 and 1. Let's try and do 30, 15 and 1 if I can. Because having that upgraded just puts me in a position where I no longer need to worry about unlocking things. Um, so I need 30 components. Does he have 30 components today? Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. He does not. He's got a lot of parts though. Oh, this is a shame. This is annoying. Um, if I had like more time, I would grab the parts to make some stuff. I could make another, like a, what's it called? I can make another trap with that amount of parts, but I think it's not worth it. Um, given the amount of bullets I have, maybe it is worth grabbing the bullets from somewhere. Um, I'm just looking, but I don't have anything I really want to give him, is the thing. I've got such a strong inventory, kind of just taking it out for the sake of taking it out at this point. I should just go to bed. Fortunately, I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to just go to bed and let him, and hopefully this will help Marco go from very tired to nothing. We can just go out and not do a lot for the next day. I end the day. Nice. He's still just tired. God. Um, got a lot of good places here. Um, just thinking, the warehouse is somewhere I could go and kill some people, but I'm not particularly strong. Shelled School has taken it over by Rebel Militia. Would like my booze, probably, and my gun. But I think I'm just going to go somewhere safe. Uh, is there anywhere I can break down some stuff for? Um, you know what? I might as well use this opportunity to go to the looted gas station. Like my inventory is now full, that I can then at least um, break down and get get unlock some of the stuff that I need to unlock. That's the main little stepping stone to do here, is because it just saves me time in the long run. Like there's a pile of, of nothingness here, and probably a locked thing up there as well. There's this saw blade that I can't get through, of course, I need a saw blade for that. But, um, yeah, that's something I could have picked up a bit more, a few more of on day one. The, the fact is, we got the hatchet on day one, which was a big, big, big boost, which is always nice. Honestly, this one's taken longer because Marcos has more stuff to do, so it may be that I actually split this into kind of three sections. You can do one days 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and then the other ones, just because there's been a lot less sleeping just randomly for this. I know that I lost you guys weren't there for as much time when I was doing it, but um, yeah. Because I just I'm realizing that I've already been recording this now for 50 minutes, so even with the cutouts that I've put in, I'm, this is going to be a long episode. So maybe it will be a three-parter rather than anything else. Oh yeah, there's the guy there. Um, I think that's everything I need to do here because I can't. I know I can't pick up anything because my inventory is literally full to bursting unless I found some kind of um, what's the word? Like, the only thing I could pick up would be booze and ammo, and I'm not like to find either of those. I could smash up something here like that and try and get some stuff, but yeah, we're gonna leave. Hope it's for the end of crime, because then I can actually just leave stuff behind and go pick up some stuff, probably from the, um... I could even go back to the military outpost at this point and just get a load of stuff. Hey, it's the curb on crime. So maybe I didn't even lose the piece of wood. No, I lost the piece of wood last yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, we were raided. That's nice. Slightly sick and very tired. The guy's not going to come today. Uh, I can now, though, risk leaving all my stuff behind. I'm just going to risk it for... I could risk it for two days, I think. Especially if I'm just filling my inventory with parts. Like, I think I've, there's enough stuff at the... at the shelled cottage for me to just get enough parts to just upgrade things. 
that's the main target here. I think that's the way to go. The guy, and whoever comes is not going to be worthwhile. Um, I think I can just end the day here. And I should probably start to think about getting a, uh, a heater up and running, because those just will give me big boosts. Get rid of his very tired condition. So much stuff. We've got we've got the hospital available to us now. But we're going to go to the shelled cottage for the uh, large amount, lots of materials. Um, or is there somewhere better with lots of amounts of materials? This is huge amounts of materials at the gas station. The garage also has huge amounts of materials. Uh, I did see a lot of materials at the gas at the garage. I think the garage is the better one to go for because I've I've unlocked everything already as well. Uh, let's do this. I, no one, people raided me yesterday, it's a curb on crime, so no one's going to raid me today. We are safe to go out and do this stuff. Let's go up here. Of course you know how to get there, Marco. You were there, like, literally less than a week ago. I know we're already up to day, like, seven, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Good. Good, we're just going to grab, we're literally just going to fill our inventory with parts and not much else, just because otherwise we are in an interesting situation. Uh, with building things. So I need like 30 parts now is the main difficulty. How much? Just keeping an eye on it. I've got so that's almost up to 20. I'm gonna grab a few more bits of wood But I think the main thing is Just getting enough components to do some stuff. I could do back-to-back -back night raids. I think uh, That's fine. I know there's plenty of wood here for when I come back. There's also plenty of components. I think uh, uh, yep, that's good. I'm gonna fill up my rest of my inventory with components. I'm about to say, how much? Two? That's 12 wood, which I don't think is enough for what I want, but uh, you know what, you can't. Beggars can't be choosers. I've got the thing upstairs I could break up for maybe a little bit more. Um, there we go, and put one more in there. Just, just gives me the stuff I need to just kind of get very close to, uh, what, everything. I really do need to get another component, another part though, don't I? We could get the trader coming today, but I doubt it. I don't know, I just feel like I've wasted an opportunity here. But this is as full an inventory as Marco can have, so yeah. Oh well. At least I can defend myself now as well. Because I've got the guns, so there's no point me not defending myself. It's a really strong situation to be in actually, Marco's doing really well. And I am going to have to go through the method of defend. Because it's just... Otherwise you just don't build up a lot of stuff. At all. Maybe I'll actually start that right now. Start the defending practice. Marco clearly isn't well. That's annoying. Okay, let us start with the idea that we were going to do though. Which is to... How much parts do I have? I've got 36 parts. Hopefully if I smash this up I can get 3 wood. But I then do need one more part to get what I need from here. To upgrade this. He's hungry, sick, and tired. Thankfully, I'm actually in a position where I can... I'm going to pick up that, which is nice. And we're going to go for the full-on, now, defensive... ...pan, I think. I think it's worth just defending from today until we get another day off, because... ...once we get into the winter, maybe we can do a double. I'm just worried that the doubles becomes risky, especially with the more stuff you have. Because anyone can walk in with all the stuff. I'm going to pick up this and I'm then going to grab the wood that we need. And hopefully things can be moved in the ways we need them to. If the guy comes to the door then great. That would be a real big bonus for us. But hopefully there's enough wood here. There is. Good. I really just want to upgrade this while I kind of can. Having an upgraded oven already is good. Um, there's the food down here. I could probably go and do that as well. Because I'm pretty sure I can't upgrade this. Which is a shame. I just need one more part. Just there. Ah. Uh, if I quickly look at what I need to upgrade this. I probably can upgrade this. This is probably... Oh, it's... No, it's the same stuff. Uh, and you can get an improved metal workshop. Because currently the metal workshop does nothing. Um, but that's fine. I should probably do this one and set it off again. Now that I'm going down this route, I think it'll be a much quicker run. Maybe I will go to 15 then, actually, if it's going to be this quicker run after this point things speeding up just praying for the guy to come that's the thing is in the next two days the likelihood is, is that the trader will come at some point and then i can use the trader to get the stuff i need is that someone oh no it's someone else he doesn't seem to be in a rush though so maybe it's the guy who loved one of the lovely people who gives me things 
much prefer the guys who give me things rather than the guys who um, like want to come and live with me. That's weird. Wouldn't you find it weird if someone just literally came up and stood by the door and was like, hey, let me in with you. Admittedly, I understand we're in a war zone, so can't beggars can't be choosers, so. Nice. Uh, hi, you're new here, aren't you? Yes, please give me things. Uh, I unfortunately can't help you. That's a shame. You were the one who uh, wants me to do the thing I can't do. Um, okay, we're going to go to bed. Um, the question is, do I do I risk it? Do I risk it for a biscuit? Because I could, I could, I could make it maybe. Oh, it would be such a strong position to be in. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? Do I risk it for the biscuit? Think of all the parts I could get. All of the lovely components and wood that we'd be able to, to like, do things with. And then when the guy comes, I could trade for parts and we could just upgrade everything. <sighs> you know what? You know what? But go big or go home. Go big or go home. We're probably going to lose everything for this. <sighs> but go big or go home. Also, there's some meds here. I can use the meds to make me feel better. Let's go to the shelled cottage. Let us take with us what's the most important things to have. I can't defend myself without this. So I'm going to just take a full set of ammo and the gun. And I believe that that is kind of it that I'm going to take with me. Just because in a worst, worst case scenario, yes, we lose so much stuff. But I still feel like we've got the gun. Scavenge. You know what? If, I, if, I, if this screws me over... I've, I, I, I've, I've messed up his run. But in this regard, we could get so much good stuff here. Like, I need some wood, but mostly I'm going to fill it with components so that we can just build. We can build and build and build. Nice. Um, well, there's, that's not what I want. I need components. I thought there was some components here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm being a silly man. There was more wood upstairs, I think. There was a very wood-heavy place, maybe. I'll take that. Take those components. Definitely. Was there some stuff in the basement? I think there was some stuff in the basement. I think there were some interesting things in here. Some ammo and whatnot. Uh, more wood. It's a very wood-heavy location. Good to know for the future. Um, nice. I'll pick that up. I'll pick that up. Which is nice. Um, what's this guy got at the back here? This guy got um, some weapon parts, maybe. He does, and he's a component as well. And I'll take that because that gives me wood. That gives me stuff. Um, maybe he doesn't didn't have components initially, and I just made gave him components. Uh, let's smash through up here. And I think maybe there's a chance there are some components in here. Just because component enough components there. Oh, there we go. Nice. Um, a single one there is better. Four of these is better. Uh, I actually drop this. These three bullets for three components. And uh, just check in here in case there is, like, another set of components in here. Uh, no, there isn't, but there is the things I need. So if I take this... Oh, amazing, actually. Um, you know what? We're not going to take the second medicine for now. It's good to know where that is, though. And I can survive without any more of that, because I have plenty of those. Um, oh, actually, it's worth checking. Can I fit another one of those tomatoes in my rucksack? They're very squishy. There should be space. Yes, I can. Nice. Run to the exit. And everybody, please just keep everything crossed. This could have been the worst mistake of my run, or it could have been the biggest win. It is the outbreak of crime finished, literally two days ago, so maybe there is a lull. But it is entirely possible that I've screwed myself over, and we are going to get raided. Let us see. Day 9. This is... I can feel this in my chest. Please, no one have raided me. Yes! Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we've now got the parts we need to upgrade this. We're just hungry, sick, and tired. I can take one of those. And maybe even if the guy comes, we could even. Because that's pushed me up to 56 bits pieces. Oh my god, this is strong. This is a strong position to be in. Mar Marco, you have done very, very well. We're going to upgrade this with the stuff we have. And hopefully the guy comes with some parts and then we can really start to keep moving. Because the one thing I really want is to get the door. Because then I can sleep while guarding and it just saves so much effort in the whole thing. And it's also something that not very many of these runs have had. I think maybe Boris had it because of course Boris had it because he was strong enough. 
but overall it's not been a, a common occurrence in these runs. This is good, uh, very nice. How much do I need for it? I do need some more bits and pieces, but not too far off actually. It's like the same as another one of these, although the heater is an important one to have. We're still in a decent position, actually, with the amount of stuff here. But no, I feel, feel very strong. Um, in terms of what we've got, do I have water? I actually don't have any water, which is an issue, so I need to eat today. So I'm gonna have to eat some of these. And I'm gonna take one of the meds. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go for one. I'm just gonna go for one. I'm gonna go for the, my normal tactic. Because I feel like Marco is strong enough to get through this. Now I'm going to guard myself, of course. But we've got through the outbreak of crime. So with a gun and fully boarded up, I see no reason why Marco can't defend himself until the next one comes through. Hopefully there'll be a raid tonight and the trader man's come. We are strong. That was the best tactic I've done. Maybe I should just get used to saying two of them afterwards. I could even do a, like a, um, a, an analysis at some point. Of it all. Of seeing... Wait, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Oh, I've already chosen. That's a shame. I was about to say, I should be using the... Um, what's it called? The fertilizer. Fertil Although I could save the fertilizer for, for plants. I mean, rogue thing that I actually grow plants. That would be an interest... That would, I would be very impressed if I'd got that far here. Let us do a trade. And you have got a decent chunk of everything, actually. So let us give you some useful things. You probably want this, and I'll give you. You can give me. It's very generous of me. I know it is. I'll give, I want to take that as well. Um, can I give you anything that's like a little bit of worthless now? There we go. I'm going to deal on that. If I look at my things, I need. I do just need to take off his hands, if I'm honest. <laughs> if I do this, I need this, all of this, and all of this. Uh, and I'm, I'll take the, the water as well. Might not. Actually, no, there's no point in me taking the water this time. Um, what else could I give you? Because I really just need the wood and whatnot. Can I give you... Yeah, I'll give you two bullets for all of that. Deal. I'm just now going to quickly go and upgrade my um, my workbench. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm just feeling quite strong now. Or do I build myself the lovely door? Because now I'm guarding. I can then do stuff in the days. Oh, I'm very, very close to doing another one. Wait a second, how much more? I could even make a, one of these as well. I think this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. We can build the door. Because at the moment I don't need anything built here. But eventually I will want to upgrade that with stuff. But for now, getting a door is something that will actually benefit me straight away from tonight when I'm planning on guarding. Got to say, in the interim I could then build myself a lovely heater. I look at my things. I've got all of these lovely things. Um, but yeah, I'm doing all right. Doing doing pretty well actually. I was about to say I could maybe trade him for the water and the sugar that he has, and just do that. I need to build myself a water collector, really. Um, but I need a heater as well. Um, let's just quickly chat with you. You've got some good stuff. Bit of a tiny bit of water. The alcohol could be got big for me. No, no, I'm not interested at this current moment. We're just going to go and have a look, though. Maybe I should build a few... Like, lay out what I want to lay out. I'll put the heater in with my bed if I can. Just to keep it all in the same kind of area. Put a heater. A simple heater. That's all of my wood. That's the thing to remember. Yeah, no, that's literally has one thing in it. So maybe I will need to have more... Um, I need to get some wood, because I need to make a water generator. Which is the big one. So much stuff is doing... Like, I'm genuinely impressed with how well Marco's done here. The electronic door, the alarm, is just a big one. Because that means as soon as anyone comes through the door, we're sleeping here, we ritually... As they come here, we are coming here with a gu with a book, with guns. They may get to the ladder, and then we can just shoot at them. It's brilliant. And also, if he sleeps through the night, then he's likely to get better because of the sickness. Just sleeping through the night is just so many benefits. Nice. How much does that upgrade here cost? Uh, just components and some more parts. Yeah, that's all stuff I stuff I can get. Just need a lot of more electrical parts, which is something I wasn't really thinking I'd need more of. Uh, how much more wood do you have? Because I could, if it's not too much more, 
six. Uh, let's have a look. What can I do with six? If I can make myself the... Um, what's it called? I've only got three components left. I don't think it'll be enough. I think this is what I'm going to do for the rest of the time. Have a quick look in here, see what there is. I can make a chair, maybe. Couldn't even make a chair, because I don't have any wood. Um, no, I just need more more stuff to do lots of nice things. But that's it for now. I'm going to go to bed. Actually, there's no point going to bed. Like, it's just going to end the day. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to show off the fact that we can sleep. I've got a heater. I just need to upgrade it, which I can do very soon. But no, that's it. Um, I'm going to end the day. Then I'm going to go to bed. I'm just going to go sleep in a bed. No, that's a novelty in these these runs, but I'm going to sleep in the bed. It's day 10. This is the final, the final day of this episode. I'm going to do it in, in three slots here. We were raided. It's basically much better. We chased them off. Thankfully, we're all armed. They didn't steal anything. Apparently, you were feeling better. Maybe you're not. We'll have another one of these medicines. That Maybe that was a thing where it gets worse and better at the same time. But at least we've got the meds to try and improve it. Although I could go to the hospital. Do I need to go to the hospital? No, not really. I about to say, there's not really much I can do today. Like, I've got stuff, but I just need to... Although, actually, no, I was raided, so tonight we'll go out. So, yeah, not much I can do today, but we will go out somewhere to raid. But I don't want to raid the hospital today. I want to raid somewhere that gives me some good things. This is the one I want to upgrade next, which is good. Especially in the, um, what's it called? In the, in the winter, we'll be able to raid, like, scavenge a lot. I'm going to uh, trust myself to have a double scavenge after most things. I'm just worried about losing stuff, but I think most of it is getting about getting the score down on the page, which is good. I think the big, big save I actually had was the, um, what's it called? The, the supermarket was a good shout. I can't do much apart from the guy who comes. Um, like, I think it's... I could get somebody come who gives me something. So I could get veg, I could get books. Uh, I could also get the um, the people, the kids coming. But if the kids come, I'm kind of messed up because I don't have any meds to give them. They like they need meds and then food. So that's like the main thing. Oh, it's Boris. This would be a massively good scavenging game. But I'm afraid we're just going to end the day there. And we're going to go out and scavenge tonight. Because I don't think we're going to lose anything here. Um, oh, actually, I should, I should choose where I'm going to go, though. Uh, can't get there due to fighting. Oh, there's some interesting bits and pieces here. Do I just go to the military outpost and steal? But the thing is, is that is that's a waste, I think, because I need materials. And, um, yeah. Like, there's lots of materials there, lots of materials. Um, huge amounts of materials at the ruined block of flats. You know, I'm going to go to the ruined block of flats. It's just a good place to go early. It's one of the first places you get, but of course it is. I'm going to prepare here, and we're just going to... I don't think I can do, use any of it. It's just saw blades I need, so let's scavenge. If I get back-to-back -back raids, the first raid after a thing, I'd be very surprised. Back-to-back -back raids would be a killer. You know what they say, back-to-back -back raids are just deep down for uh, good, good, good. I'll take the food. Never say no to free raw food. Um, let us still smash through as much of the stuff as I can. Which is good. More of that, more of this. This is just a good old-fashioned collection. I do think there's often parts here as well, and electronics parts. As I was speaking, that is a good little additional here. Just because they do give a little bit extra. Things faster than they normally are. There we go. Let's grab that. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Second, there, I thought that last one, he was just like suddenly speeding around, and it was like, okay. Uh, yes, and yes, thank you. Um, and let's just quickly check upstairs. I think there is some stuff upstairs. Uh, nice. There are some piles here. Probably worth getting myself more components from them. Uh, is there anything that's not worth it? I'll probably switch that for that. And I'll switch that for that. Just because they're getting a bit more wood. I know I've not got any of it. And I need, like... I need more than eight, if I'm honest. Maybe it's worth switching it out for some other stuff as well. Is there anything here else that I could switch it out for? Maybe that's the one to do it for. Two, four. That's ten. And if I do... I'm going to do another one of these. Like, it's good to know that there's so much stuff here that I can come back. I think that's the main one. 
Just because I don't think I can do anything with with the guy. I should have picked up the wood, just knowing that I can only pick up a certain amount of wood each time. But yes, uh, but we will have to find out what I do with that next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed the first part of Marco's run. But I will talk to you next time, which will be in a week. See you then. Ta-ra.